So a couple videos ago, I told you guys that we were done with the Instagram ad buying series. You guys know the series goes, I find an Instagram ad selling sneakers for a low price. We buy them and see how legit they are and sometimes they're real. And then I forgot I had one more package coming in the mail for one last video for the series. Whoops. So I chalked this video up as, you know what? This is the last Instagram ad buying video in the series on YouTube from Name Brand. And then I thought about it a little bit more. I thought you guys should actually be in charge of calling it quits, not me. So if you guys want to see the series continue, all you gotta do is leave a thousand thumbs up down below, which is super easy to do. If you're watching the video and you want to see this continue, just hit the thumbs up button. Also, a comment down below helps. Not for bringing back the series, but it gets the video shared more and we get more money. So anyway, if you guys want to see this series continue, I will leave it up to you. If you guys get 1,000 likes down below within 24 hours, we will continue the series. It's all up to you, boys. Now hold up, before we get too far into today's video, I gotta update you guys on yesterday's video. Now if you guys didn't catch that video, I'll give you a chance to go watch it if you want, but long story short, I've been getting tormented for a long time. From people breaking into my car one week, to people smashing all the windows to my car another week, to yesterday finding somebody breaking into my house and catching them in the act. Now what happened pretty much is I heard somebody coming in the back bedroom. I'm the only one home, I grabbed the knife, right? I'm not sure what's going on. I run over there, see somebody halfway through my bedroom window, I've got a knife in my hand. He's got a knife in his hand because he cut through the window screen and somebody ended up cutting my finger I don't know who did it. I also didn't go to the doctor yet I don't really do that stuff, but I ended up calling the cops and you guys know I didn't want to call the cops I wanted to handle this myself as I tried to there But I had to do it just to get it on record now update with the cops situation They ended up coming over to take fingerprints. They questioned me da, 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 da. Now they took fingerprints on that window because that's the only thing in my mind He would have touched trying to get into my house besides the back gate and they couldn't find any fingerprints Prints. I didn't think they would find any because I thought the guy had gloves on, but I wasn't too sure. I was kind of in shock seeing this whole situation happen. So no fingerprints happened. They told me to contact them if anything else ends up going down, but I kind of want to, and you guys told me not to, thank you so much for all the best wishes on the video yesterday, by the way, but I kind of want to take this into my own hands. Not getting hurt or anything like that, but I really want to catch them in the act. So what I actually did yesterday is I ordered two surveillance cameras. Now I'm going to need your guys' opinion on this because I have a question coming up for y'all, but one surveillance camera is going right over here. So we got the window there. If they try to bust in again, we got a camera right there. It's going to catch everything going down. Hopefully it lasts 24 hours. Now that's not the only way to get in here. We actually have one back door right here and we got a front door right over there. So I ordered another one for right here. If they try to get through any windows in any of these rooms, I'm going to catch them in the act. <laughs> I literally just washed back on that last clip to make sure I said everything I wanted to. I didn't realize how bloody this band-aid was. So we changed it up real quick. Anyway, question I have for y'all because I have a couple days to return these two surveillance cameras that I bought. Is that the right way to go or should I get GoPros? I don't know if they last 24 hours or anything like that, but I'd love to buy a camera that I could actually use for filming too. So if you think GoPros might be the way to go in this situation, let me know. Um, and we're just going to try to catch this in the act. If they try to do this again, I don't even know. They might watch the videos. They might know what I'm about. Maybe that I'm just targeted for whatever reason. I haven't done anything bad since high school, so I don't think I have any anybody after me right now. But uh, that's the situation right now surveillance cameras are coming in I'm gonna keep you guys updated on this uh, I shouldn't be having as much fun with this as I am right now but I kind of love this shit happening you know what I mean it's like YouTube content but yeah if you guys didn't check out yesterday's video I was kind of a baby in it I was still in shock but anyway let's get into today's video quick update thank you guys for being there with me <laughs> <laughs> All right, quick change of scenery. My girlfriend just heard me talking about taking things in my own hands. Apparently, I'm stupid for that. <laughs> I thought I'd get out of the house and film the car. As y'all know, as I just said, this is our last unboxing for the Instagram series. Unless you guys want to see it more, you guys know what we got to do. I'm just going to get into it real quick, man. We've already wasted too much time updating you. But this is really dope. I'm so stoked for this because, as you guys know, I try to find the best Instagram ads that I can find that should be selling real stuff, right? So I found this one on an Instagram ad, and this guy... I actually, I usually pay a lot less for the shoes. However, I bought these for retail. They do have resale, but the reason why I bought these is because every shoe on this website had an authentic tag from StockX. Now, I know a lot of people have been faking those lately, and I'm not sure if there's a way I can scan the tag to see if it's actually from StockX or not. So that's what we're gonna do, boys. Without further ado, <laughs> we got the Yeezy slides right here, the Yeezy sandals that just came out. I also wanna ask y'all if you think it'd be dope for us to do some customs with them, like make them into Gucci slides or make like a Yeezy slide with like the bottom of it, y'all let me know. <laughs> oh man, I feel like I just got surprised with the new Selena Gomez nip slip for my birthday. <laughs> Damn it, no! 
Ah! So I already cut the box with my key. That's sick. Anyway, I've been doing a little bit of legit checks for these online. I think the big thing about these is the box. I ain't never seen this in person, but I've been seeing a lot of boxes online are not well faked, and a lot of them don't actually have the material that you need here. Apparently, it's supposed to be a cloth material, and we got that. So I paid, I can't remember what retail is for these, but that's what I paid for them because I searched it up on StockX. They're going for like 400 Canadian right now. Oh, and it's got the paper, which is a good sign, I think. I don't know. Oh my god. Damn it. Oh, I thought I got the lighter colorway. Oh, whatever. Anyway, we got the dust bag right here. It's got dirt on it. Oh no, that's just my spit from freaking out so much. Okay, we got the dust bag. That's a good sign. Most fakes have dust bags though. Oh my God. So I've been wanting a pair of these, one to wear, but I'm gonna wait till next summer to actually get a pair that I can, oh, that I can wear. Sorry, I'm gonna finish off my sentence. Anyway, boys, these right here are the Yeezy sandal. All right, so let's do the legit check real quick. I think, I think, I think wait, there's no, there's no sock X tag on it. What the hell? Is on the other one? Where's the stock X tag? There's no stock X tag on it. What is this? I don't want this. Care guide. I don't know, what is that? So there's no stock X tag on them and it said on the website there was going to be. Ah! Anyway, here's the shoe. You guys let me know what you think. Now, I'm opening this up right here. A lot of the fakes I saw don't have this, so that's really dope. The materials seem dope. I actually watched Kais Omar's review on them just to get a little feel of, like, what the real ones actually look like. I feel like these are legit, boys, but y'all let me know on this, and if they are legit and we do confirm it, I will have a website link down below for where I bought these if they still have them in stock. We got season six right here, man. Put a nine on there and it says 69, which is uh, it's childish. It's not funny at all. I've, I've just been so stoked for these because I think if we put like an easy top on these, I think that could be the dopest custom we've done in a long time. So you guys, once again, let me know what you think about that. But bruh, for retail, you guys let me know if this is a flipping steal or not. I just, I said Selena Gomez nip slip and now it's in my mind. I just want to go back on Celeb Jihad, which is my favorite website and check if she's got a new one up. She's hospitalized, by the way, which is really hurting me a little bit. I, I woke up with less of an erection this morning, to be honest with you guys, just knowing that my girl is in the hospital for uh, insanity or something something like that. I feel like she had some name brand dick. It might not have gone that way. Anyway, sorry, my girlfriend, if you're watching, love you to death. <laughs> Jeez. So this is another thing, actually, I'm trying to educate you guys too. Another thing I saw in a lot of the fakes, they don't have this fold here, and they're supposed to have that fold. I feel like these are real. I'm not 100% sure, but you guys let me know exactly what you think about them, if you own them, or what colorway you think are dopest about these. Can we not end the series? I love this series, but I haven't been getting as much feedback from it when I've been doing it lately, so. Please, if you guys really want to see it, do that thumbs up button. But the squishiness on this thing, man, I'm going to tell you I've owned a lot of flashlights in my past. This is this is something I'd stick my dick in. I'd tell you that for free. Right in between the flap right here, blah, 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 done. Oh, I need Selena in my life. That's clearly a sign. Anyway, that's a pickup. Let me, let me know what you guys think about these sandals. I think they're really sick. Actually, do they fit me? They don't have a size tag on them. What size are they? Oh, wait, size 41. Is that size 8? That's size eight! I don't even fit these! Why did I get size eight? Maybe that's all they have on the website. Anyway, that's it, man. There's the shoe off the Instagram ad. I'm gonna say right now, I feel like these are real. I feel like they're real. I've seen so much just floppiness with the fake ones. This being like all down when you get them with the fake ones. I feel like that's just got the nice shape. You know what I mean? Once again, credit your bottles right here. Put your wiener right here and you're going to town. Y'all ever F shoes? No, I'm just kidding. Anyway, <laughs> there it is, boys. Appreciate y'all for watching. Um, what else do I want to say? Also, I wanted to add on to the whole break-in situation. I, uh, a lot of you, a lot of y'all told me to strap up. Now, we don't live in America. In Canada, you got a strap, you're going to jail. You know what I mean? Also, if I have a revolver in my hand, my, my hand, my head's getting blown off. Because I'm definitely just not a purpose. That'd be, that'd be ridiculous. But, uh... I feel like my trigger finger would be a little, a little bit retarded. I don't trust myself with guns is what I'm trying to say. But there we go, man. There's our pickup for today off an Instagram ad. Let me know what retail is on these. I can't remember what I bought them for, but I knew it was retail when I searched it up. Appreciate y'all for watching. If y'all want to see more Instagram ad videos, y'all know where to come, man. Right on name brand. You know I mean? All right, that's enough. Selena Gomez, I love you to death. Please get out of the hospital soon, baby. And uh, when you're out, I'll, I'll maybe greet you. Saying like, hey, what's up? And maybe that's the time where I'll be like, oh my God, I now found Jesus. I now found the Jesus I need in my life. 
um, not calling myself God, but I am. Appreciate y'all for watching. Let's let let's let this uh, let's let this series live on. You know what I mean? Not not in the mood to shut it off yet, unless you guys really want me to. Appreciate y'all. Merc in the game, the greatest of all time. Y'all the goats. Blow.